Atlantic bluefin tuna have a voracious appetite. Living up to 40 years, it is one of the largest species of fish in the world. On average, it grows to a length of about six and a half feet and weighs 550 pounds. The largest bluefin ever caught weighed 1,496 pounds. They are also one of the fastest species, swimming at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Japan has a voracious appetite for bluefin. In Japan, bluefin is a delicacy which makes up the core of the luxury sushi and sashimi markets, and it's in high demand. In January of 2010, a single tuna set a record when it sold for $175,000 at a Japanese fish market. However, the supply cannot meet the demand. Bluefin tuna, the largest and most valuable species of tuna, is critically endangered. Found in the Atlantic and Mediterranean, bluefin tuna stocks have been reduced to 5-15% to of their original levels. So why is the bluefin tuna at risk of extinction? Overfishing. Overfishing occurs when a population of fish can no longer sustain itself naturally. There are not enough adult fish left to breed and replenish the population. It is a tragedy of the common scenario. There is a shared, limited resource being depleted by multiple individuals who are all acting in their self-interest, even though the extinction of the fish is not in anyone's interest. According to reports by the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, around 80% of the world's fisheries are overexploited, depleted, or in a state of collapse. Additionally, the world's fishing fleets are losing about $50 billion a year. In effect, the report says, half the world's fishing fleet could be scrapped with no change in catch. The ocean is an important global commons, and its lack of management endangers the biodiversity of the ocean as well as access to a valuable food source. Ocean habitats are about 300 times the habitable volume of terrestrial habitats. They house a tremendous amount and diversity of life, including plankton, plants, fish, invertebrates, mammals, and seabirds. Depletion of predator species such as the bluefin tuna may cause the ocean to become full of plankton, jellyfish, and other small plankton-eating fish. In addition, fishing is essential to the livelihood and food security of millions of people on our planet, especially those in the developing world. Fish is the main source of protein for one in six people on the planet. The extinction of marine species and the environmental degradation caused by industrial-scale commercial fishing threatens the fragile ecosystems within the ocean and even the humans that rely on ocean resources. Overfishing happens because of a lack of management and enforcement and poor fishing practices. Pirate fishing has also become popular in the lucrative tuna fisheries. Fishing fleets are numerous and gigantic and catch limits are not very well enforced. While some individual countries have made rules and limits on fishing, the problem cannot be effectively addressed without regional laws and cooperation. The International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tuna, the regulatory body in charge of conservation and monitoring of the bluefin, has been criticized by marine biologists who say the catch limits have been set too high and the organization favors industry data rather than scientific data. Because of industrial scale commercial fishing, over the past 20 years, a healthy level of bluefin tuna has become a population on the edge of extinction. The main problems for bluefin tuna are illegal pirate fishing, bycatch, and a new industry known as tuna ranching. The Times of London reported in October 2009 that illegal or unreported bluefin tuna catches of the past decade account for 25%, or $4.2 billion, of the total bluefin harvest. The bluefin matures slowly, so there is a high juvenile catch rate, which means there will be fewer adults in the future to breed. Tuna ranching, or tuna farming, compounds this problem. Juvenile tuna are caught and transported to open net pens where they are fattened until ready to catch and sell. They are fed forage fish, which also present health and environmental problems of their own. This process is believed to be unsustainable because it consumes more fish protein than it produces. The fate of the bluefin tuna exemplifies the tragedy of the commons. There are multiple farmers who all want to fish for the bluefin tuna because it commands the most money in the market. However, when one farmer decides to take more in order to make more money, the other farmers will respond similarly. When all the farmers take huge amounts of fish, the tuna population cannot maintain itself and becomes extinct. In 1993, the cod industry off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada became a victim of the tragedy of the commons. In 1951, factory fishing and the practices of bottom trawling began in the North Atlantic, and by the early 90s, 
40,000 people had lost their jobs as fisheries and processing plants closed down. The annual cod catch had peaked in the late 1980s and had decreased 90% by 1992. Stocks of North Atlantic cod were severely depleted and after six cod populations completely disappeared, the Canadian government issued a moratorium on cod fishing. Even today, after more than a decade, the native cod population has not returned to the Newfoundland coast, assumingly because of the damage to their natural ecosystem, and the area is now home to mainly crab and shrimp. Tuna is a $7.2 billion industry. Current tuna harvests are approximately 60,000 tons each year, four times the sustainable level determined by the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tuna. Like the Newfoundland cod, the bluefin tuna is at risk of a population extinction that will have a negative impact on economics and trade, as well as its natural marine habitat. As outlined in the tragedy of the commons, the result will be disastrous for all. At a United Nations conference in March of 2010, a U.S.-backed proposal to temporarily end the trade in bluefin tuna was rejected. Both Japan and the European Union argued that ICAT, the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, was the only regulation the industry needed. More regulation of the bluefin tuna trade would harm business as well as the economies of Mediterranean states and Japan. For now, the bluefin tuna remains at risk.